Hi developers, are you eager to know what Tracking More's Tracking API can do? The fastest way is to take advantage of this step-by-step -step guide. As in this video, we'll include everything you need to use our Tracking API. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Step 1. Create a Tracking More account. Visit trackingmore.com and click Get Started Free to create a Tracking More account. Enter your first name, last name, business email address, and password. Then, click Start Free Trial, and a verification code will be sent to your email address. Enter the verification code you received to finish registration. Step 2. Generate an API key. Sign into your Tracking More account. Go to the Developer section, click Generate API Key, give a name to your API key, and click Save. For security purposes, the API keys can only be copied and downloaded at the time of creation. Tracking More allows you to generate up to four API keys. Certainly, you can delete any old API key and generate new ones as you need. Step 3. View API Docs and test your API key. Click API Docs to get redirected to our API documentation. By reading it, you can get a comprehensive understanding of our tracking API. Firstly, read the API Quick Start Guide where you can find the API endpoint. We recommend setting up Weblook to avoid wasting time making API calls when tracking is not updating. Please note that all API requests should be in JSON format and that Tracking More also responds with JSON. Then, go to the Reference section to find all the functions of Tracking More's Tracking API. In this video, we'll mainly look at the most important functions of Tracking More's Tracking API create a tracking and create trackings, detect courier, and get results. 1. Create a tracking and create trackings. There are two ways for you to create tracking numbers in Tracking More system. If you want to create tracking numbers as soon as they're generated one by one, you may send create a tracking requests. If you want to wait until all tracking numbers are generated and create tracking numbers in one go, you should send create trackings requests. The main differences between sending these two kinds of API requests are listed in this table. No matter which you choose to successfully create a tracking number, both the tracking number and courier code are required. On the Create a Tracking page, click here next to Courier Code to download the list of courier codes you need. Knowing the courier's name is not enough if the courier partner you work with has many divisions. In some cases, information is not shared internally. Therefore, you should be as specific as possible. How? Go to the carriers list on trackingmore.com and check whether the website on the dedicated tracking page corresponds with the courier's official website that you use for shipping or tracking. For example, if you use DHL Parcel UK to ship parcels and the official website you use for tracking DHL parcels is this one, the courier code should be DHL UK instead of DHL. Next, it's time to test your API key. Replace the value of tracking API key with your API key, change the value of courier code and tracking number, delete optional information, and click send API request, you'll immediately get a response like this. If no tracking information can be found on the courier's website, the delivery status will be not found. You can make a create trackings request in the same way. However, in this way, you can only know the results of creating each tracking number and courier combination. If successful, you can find a unique tracking ID in the response. This is the unique identifier of any tracking number and courier code combination. Moreover, the tracking number and courier will also appear in your tracking more admin. If failed, you can immediately get an error code and an error message for debugging. You may also check the list of response codes on this page. 2. Detect Courier Tracking More has been providing parcel tracking services for over 10 years and helped track tens of billions of parcels. This has laid a solid foundation for our detect function. If you don't know which courier a tracking number belongs to, because you're using a third-party fulfillment service and the format of the tracking number is not unique, you should send a detect courier request via API to Tracking More first. To know what you can get with a detect courier request, replace the value of the tracking number and click send API request. Pro tip, if you know the courier network of your fulfillment service provider, you may add them to your tracking more admin so that the results can be narrowed down. Just go to settings and choose carriers in the feature settings. In the carrier auto detection section, click add carrier, select from carriers supported by tracking more and click add to complete the setup. In this way, only suitable carriers in the list will be suggested. The moment a tracking ID is created, a quota will be consumed. 
This feature is meritable because the fewer choices of carriers you have, the more you can save. 3. Get results. The most efficient way to get tracking information via API is to send get results requests. Different query parameters are available for you. The most widely used parameters include courier code, delivery status, the combination of created date min and created date max, and the combination of updated date min and updated date max. You can define the value of items amount to set the number of tracking IDs per page. If you leave a blank to items amount and pages amount, Tracking More will automatically return the first page that contains the tracking information of the first 200 tracking IDs by default. For historical tracking, as the default rate limit is 10 requests per second, you can query the tracking information of up to 20,000 tracking IDs per second, greatly improving your shipment tracking efficiency. Step 4. Download SDK and execute sample code. Up till now, Tracking More provides SDK in seven different popular programming languages. You may download the SDK you need through the left navigation menu of Tracking More's API documentation. Here, I'd like to move on with the Python SDK. Clicking Python SDK will take you to GitHub, where you can view and download the SDK. The sample codes are in the example file. Proceed with trackingexample.py, and you can find the best thing is that all Tracking More's tracking API functions have been defined. What's more, the exact position where you can put your API key. You can also easily replace the value of tracking number, courier code, and many other keys. After installing the SDK on your PC, you can use it to build your own program. Please note that to avoid restricting the performance of your program, Tracking More didn't set a rate limit in the SDK. You need to add the code according to the default rate limit. If your order volume is very high, please contact your account manager to increase it. Now, you've gained an overall understanding of Tracking More's tracking API. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our 24-7 customer support team. We're always ready to help.